This video is just a short extract from the entire course. If you wish to see all of the videos from this series at higher quality and in far larger screen size, head over to ifskills.com. All right, here we go. We're opening up the project that we created in the previous lesson. So, if you didn't do that lesson, you can either watch me do it, or you can go back and do it, and then you can do the same thing with me right now. What we want to do is add some transitions. If you look, for example, let me move my timeline right over to the beginning, and I play it, it's just there. I want it to fade in. In Final Cut Pro X, we have a plethora, that's a word I don't use very often, we have a whole bunch of transitions, and you're going to find them under this button right here. Tons and tons and tons of stuff. This one's called a cross dissolve. That's kind of like a fade from black. Why do I like that one? It is considered the safest of all transitions. Why? Well, it's just one that we kind of expect. You're not throwing something at me like a black hole. And you can see what this one does. You can actually move your mouse on this and see what it does. Is there anything wrong with this? No, nothing at all. But if you want to just play it safe, let's say we want to play it safe. We're going to use this one right here. We're going to pick it up and drag it over to the beginning right here. Now, you're going to see it go right in. You'll see it right there. And when you see it here, just go ahead and let go. There it is. And there we go. I kind of like that. And it works good. What I want on the back end is kind of the same thing, fade to black. So let's go ahead and scroll down the old timeline until we get here. We want it on the end of this one right there. And we're going to pick the same one up, cross dissolve. I'm going to bring it out here. Just wait till you see it and let go. If we come about here, let's go ahead and see what it does. All right, that's not too bad. But we're not done because we do have a transition that exists between the intro and the video and the video and the credits. I don't recommend using a lot of different transitions in one single video because that shocks your audience too much. And we've all seen the presentations, like slideshow presentations, where the person who put it together felt like every different slide needed a new transition. Don't do that, please. But I will do a different one just to show you a different one. And we're going to go to one called Band. We're going to select it. And we're going to put it right there. And there it is. Let's try that one out. Not too bad. I suppose that we should put the same thing right here between the end of the video and our credits. So we'll drag it down one more time and put it right there. And again, we can see that, how it works. Okay, so we've added transitions, and as you can see, there are a million of these things. Well, maybe not a million, but quite a few. Different kinds of transitions, all kinds of ways to make one clip go to the next clip. Under this button, right there, you've got your transitions. We'll be using this video in the next lesson, but don't forget you don't have to save it. That's done automatically.